Hey everyone, this video is looking at the guitar pedals that I'm currently using. So here's my pedal board. Um, I'm gonna take you through a few different sounds to show you what I use. And this is being recorded, um, played through a five watt Fender guitar amp. And also I'm using my Fender Telecaster uh, from the Ultra Series. So the pedal board that I have, I'm using a pedal train and the power supply is a PWT, it's a Palmer. So PWT12, which I find has uh, been brilliant. So when I laid my pedals out, I've looked, laid it out in three sections. So there is one section that starts, everything is basically my overdrives and boosts that lead into the volume pedal. So section one is all of these pedals here. And then section two in the middle is the volume and the tuner. And then it goes into the last, which is my reverbs, two reverbs and my delay pedal. Um, I'll talk about these at the end. Those are amp simulators um, right, right at the very end. So to start with, here is the very uh, clean sound playing from the neck pickup. Bridge pickup. Nothing on at all. Uh, for the sake of this, for the lights, I'm just going to turn the tuner off, but I'll generally leave that on at all times. So what I start with is the EP booster from Exotic, and I'll keep this on at all times. It just gives the sound, uh, just gives an edge to it. Depending on which guitar I'm using, uh, if I'm using the Tally versus my Duesenberg, I'll just maybe kick it up a little bit more for the Tally uh, Duesenberg, I'll bring it back a little bit. But generally anything between 9 and 10 o'clock is how I'll run this. So that's on at all times. So we start with the Exotic um, com SP Compressor. <laughs> when I needed. So I start uh, compressor, so into the boost, and then I'm going into the POG 2. I'll come back and talk about that a little bit more when I demo the uh, reverbs and the delay. Uh, but that's where it sits in the chain. From the POG then it goes straight into the broken arrow. Um, I find this a brilliant pedal. What I like the most about it, it's two in one. We've got your drive and your boost. Um, and there's multiple settings you can use. So if I go straight into the uh, boost. Uh, for the sake of, and for the amp that I'm using, I can't really drive it too much, but it's got its uh, boost pedal, uh, sorry, boost volume right in the middle there. into the drive. another exotic pedal. I'll generally run this with very high gain, uh, very high volume gain next to, next to off, especially if I'm running through a, a larger amp. AC booster, I jump into the hot cake there. And again, depending on the songs that we're doing in a set, I may have one set a lot higher drive and then layer them. Um, then at the end, I've got a, it's called Piggy Effects. 
and this is just another clean boost. <laughs> Right at the very end and that can give uh, just will give a nice um, jump and very much drive the amp when needed if you're going to a solo etc but it, it's very I use them I'll never use all of these in one go it's just jumping between a couple of drives at a time <laughs> We jump into the volume pedal so I'm just using the Ernie Ball uh, the LP VP sorry <laughs> Ernie, Ernie Ball VP volume pedal there and it's got the out to the polytune um, 2 that I'm using so from the volume pedal we're going into the mini Hoff so this I leave generally as a plate reverb and it's more an always on reverb again depending on the type of venue playing uh, but it's generally always on and some may say why do we run a reverb before the delay purely that's mono and then I'm going into stereo delay and stereo reverb of course I'd like to run both stereo uh, reverbs at the end but practicalities that's all I can do so that's generally an always on and then from there I'll go into the timeline and I'll always use this stereo when possible into the stereo reverb and a lot of times when I play I may send one channel to a live amp and then one channel I'll go through the amp simulator um, so the preamp and then the camp simulator there and that's how I'll run it. Um, again, it gives you two completely different sounds. And if possible, I'll run through two live amps, but it does give me the uh, different, different control. But I'm not going to go into those for today. So from, uh, let me just, a couple of sounds from Timeline. Just a delay there, a uh, dual delay going into the reverb so I found this a brilliant brilliant pedal love this and I'll always use it on the modulate setting uh, it's just the boss RV6 and I'll run quite high level um, time and then tone I'll run that quite high just to get very pick up the tops for that so if I'm going to run a how I'll layer up between the reverbs delay and into the second reverb show you how I use the POG 2 that I've got so I've got a few presets there uh, a couple of settings I, I personal preference I start with a just a straight octave So that was, sorry, an octave below, now this is an octave above. 
use this very sparingly purely for more effect riffs or if you're trying to emulate more synth sounds. Um, from there I've got a, so this has got no attack at all for this one. It emulates a volume, uh, volume pedal. probably one of my favorite that I use and so this is got attack to it so you hear the note but it also brings a delayed octaves below and octaves above so I suppose more organ uh, sound so you can hear that, that uh, the octaves coming in underneath it 